Michael. Oh, dear Aunt Patrick, can't you see this is all a trick? The aliens are projecting our memories onto the environment. Confuse us, Patrick. Hey everyone, Nick here, and for all of you extraterrestrial fans out there, there is a huge mystery in the constellation Cygnus. It's one that we thought we had a handle on, but truthfully, we don't at all. There's a star that a little while ago made headlines for its weird tendency to both dim and brighten its light at random intervals. Some speculated that intelligent life was to blame, but a more accepted solution was a swarm of dusty comets that masked the light of the star. But now even that theory is coming into question. So what's really going on here? Let's find out. All right, so before we can even talk about the possibility of alien megastructures that we don't know about, we need to talk about how we got here in the first place. The Kepler telescope surveyed the stars from about 1400 light years away, and it actually uses a very ingenious method to spot exoplanets. Essentially, whenever a planet comes in between the telescope and a distant star, there's a small drop in luminance that the Kepler can pick up on and say, hey, there's a planet. But in the case of this star, it was acting very differently. It was flickering and doing things just like usual, but this time at totally random intervals. The first explanation, which is obviously more accepted, was a swarm of dusty comets that came in and constantly interrupted the light of the star. Now another theory, however, was the presence of intelligent life in orbit of the star itself. Now say what you will, but upon further examination, both of those explanations actually came up pretty short. Research shows that the star has dimmed by almost 20% in the last 90 years, and scientists have concluded that it would take almost 650,000 comets, each 85 miles wide, to cause a similar disturbance in light emission. Now that's obviously not possible, so what about the whole alien life idea? Now, it's not entirely crazy to think that there's an alien society out there building massive structures for decades on a planet that we don't know about. After all, the universe is huge. But the one problem with that theory is that we should have been receiving at least some sort of heat signature by now, and that is nowhere to be found. Truth be told, the star is still a huge mystery, and we shouldn't be so quick to dismiss all of the ideas, even the most drastic ones. Whatever's going on, further examination is required, and you know I'm going to keep you guys updated. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.